In this exercise, we will look at how to update cross sections when our, one of our corridors or something changes and how to update that annotation that goes with it. We'll open up the cross section set that we created in the previous exercise along our four lane divided highway corridor. What we're going to need to do here is look at the annotation that exists inside that drawing model. If you recall, that's where the annotation was built at. So the drawing model referenced the three-dimensional model, and then the drawing model in turn is referenced into the sheet. So if we go look at one of our drawing models, uh, let's just look at station 17500. We'll fit our view here. And let's look at this right side here, because I've got a nice even 4 to 1 slope coming down at this location. What if this slope design changed? So let's go back to our main model here, and let's adjust our design. So we'll look at our model. Uh, we're going to edit our template drop here. And let's just edit that template drop so that on the right hand side, that area we, we were looking at, this fill tie slope here, instead of tying down at a 25% slope, let's tie down at a negative 33.33% slope or a 3 to 1 slope instead of a 4 to 1. So we've updated that. We'll say, OK, our model's reprocessing. It's rebuilt everything. So the model's now been completely updated. But what happened to our cross sections? So let's go take a look at our cross section as soon as that model finishes updating. All right, our model's finished updating here. And let's go down now and take a look at our cross section. We'll go back into that same drawing model at 17500. We'll fit that to our screen. And if we look down here, you can see the model itself has been updated. It is now at a 3 to 1 slope, or I can tell at least that that is a steeper slope. And I can see where the old slope was based on the label here and where the tie down point was. So our model updates automatically. That makes sense because our cross section is a live reference of that clip through the 3D model. Anything happening in the 3D model, that's what our cross section is going to see. What's not live, though, and a not live update are the annotations. So what if I did want to update the annotations of my cross sections? Well, I can do that fairly easily by using my annotate model tools here. So I can go in and I can re-annotate my model, or I can remove annotations from the model. Now, what I'd want to do first is remove my annotations, because I don't want two sets of them in here. I can do this across every cross-section or every model in my project if I wanted by saying yes to all cross-section models. Um, just for a little bit of speed here, I'm going to say no and only do this one that we're looking at. Clears out that annotation, and then I could go back and I could say re-annotate it. And again, I could choose yes or no whether I'm going to do the whole model or all models. I'm going to just do this one by picking no. Prompts me for what annotation group I want to apply to here. I'm going to use the same group I initially annotated the cross sections with. It goes through, scans all the elements at this section, and updates everything. And if we zoom back in, we can now see that we do have our 3 to 1 slope labeled here. And we do have our new offset and elevation load labeled here. It's right at the toe of the slope. So bulk annotation is pretty easy to update when you need to for a cross section. That concludes this exercise. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.